But hey, I got I got a question. Uh, if you have a question, by the way, you can email me bigfiddleshow at gmail.com. All one word, Big Fiddle Show. But I got a question from Gina, who watches the program and is an ardent follower of Pat and Possum. She wanted to know what kind of rosin I use. Let me tell you what kind of rosin I use. Okay, so rosin does make a difference in the sound of your fiddle. There's no doubt about that. So you don't want to use the cheapest rosin you can find. But you also don't want to fall for these guys who are selling rosin for $35 to $100 a cake. There's even some rosin, I think, that has gold flecks in it. You know, it's $100. And there's a guy on Facebook I see posting a lot who's selling his own handmade rosin that's like $35 or $40. That seems a bit exorbitant to me for something that comes out of a pine tree. So, uh, and I, 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 don't, I never uh, question anybody's entrepreneurial skills, though. If he can sell it, by gosh, go right ahead. And if you want to send me a free sample, I'd hold it up. No. <laughs> but, uh, no, it, I recommend uh, Hill Rosin. Hill's an old English company. And uh, they make two kinds. I think, it's, I think it's up around $12 a cake now. You know, you don't want rosin that is a dollar or something, you know, you know crummy rosin. Because, you know, there is different quality in rosin. But I think, you know, this rosin is as good as any. And uh, it served me in good stead for many years. It's the kind I use. So it comes in this uh, this green uh, green felt thing. And it's it's dark like that. And then there's the, the old fiddlers back home used to claim, in Missouri used to claim, you used light color. So they have this light colored rosin too. They said, oh, you use light colored rosin in the summer and dark colored rosin in the winter. I don't know why they said that. Maybe there probably are different properties or they wouldn't have two colors. Maybe one's harder than the other. I don't know. Or maybe one absorbs moisture more or less. So for if you're in the humid area playing in the summertime, maybe this light colored rosin doesn't get as sticky. I don't know. But I just, I just use whichever one I have. And I just happen to have a cake of each. So I use Hill Rosin. Uh... Hill is a W E Hill and Sons, made in England, right there it says, yeah. So, and I think it's eleven or twelve bucks on Amazon or at your local music store. Try to shop at your local music store if you can get up off your chair. But if you're a true indoorsman, you know you're ordering everything online. It's coming to your front door. We don't like to go outside, us indoorsmen. But anyway, that's my pitch on what kind of rosin to use. I got a question on that. Again, don't spend a fortune on it. It's just pine tar sap, but. Don't buy the cheapest you can find. I like the Hill, I think, is a consistent quality product, and I've used it for many, many years. So there you go about what rosin to use. So 